Assalamu alaikum. I am Asad Yusuf. Uh, today's topic is medical physics, the power of linear accelerator. Overview of physics support. Accelerator safety issues. Task group reports 35. Acceptance accident performance. Radiation protection survey. Verify accelerator characteristics are within a specification. Uh, cover the task group of uh, report 35. Commissioning, collect and repair beam data for clinical use. Quality assurance. So, um, WBM task group report 35 covers safety issues that medical physicists should be aware. Two FDA classification of hazards, class one cause serious injury or death, include type A and B, where class two hazard where the risk of serious injury are small. The most common hazards are incorrect radiation, those those delivered to wrong region, collision between patient and machine, incorrect beam energy or modality, electrical and mechanical problems. Class one type has an involved improper delivery of 25% of the prescribed dose. The latest report is 2G210, which includes recommendation for a technical specification that should be included in the purchase and contract, consideration of technical aspects of purchase contract. Provide a definition and performance specification for major Linux subset, subsystem in acceptance testing. To make recommendation on the test to be performed during the Linux acceptance test procedure to assure that accelerator is safe to use. Radiation protection regulation. Regulatory bodies, linear accelerators, National Council of Radiation Protection and Measurement, individual states, and IAEA, the COBOL 60 regulatory, also included for NRC. So NCRP reports 116 replaced the report of 91. Occupational limits, control area, should one should be aware of these values in order to provide safe environment. Perform radiation survey for starting the machine. Uh, also include neutron leakage measurement should be done for nominal photon energies of like 15 MV or above. Survey meter should be capable of detecting exposure level from 0.2 millirongen per hour to one rongen per hour. Um, and you can follow these reports. The manufacturer have acceptance testing procedure which engineers and physicians follow and sign off. Sometimes machine might order with the specification beyond what manufacturer provide. Type of ATB includes radiation safety test, mechanical test, extra beam test, electron beam test, dose delivery performance test. Initial mechanical and radiation test, alignment of collimeter axis and collimeter jaws, collimeter axis, light localizer axis, and crosshair conger. Be aware of whether light source or tape with collimeter. Crosshair constituent congruence with important or cause feature quality assurance will depend upon it. Light field and radiation field congruence and coincidence. Mechanical isocentral location. Idealized intersection of polymeter gantry and couch rotation. Radiation isocentral location. Star short flame exposure technique with respect to polymeter axis, with respect to treatment table axis, and with respect to gantry axis. These should be performed to verify the isocentral location. Safety checks. Emergency stop, proper console operation, mode selection and beam control, readout, computer control software validation, record and verify system, patient support system, anti-collision system and other interlocks, video motions and intercoms should be available. Radiation beam parameters, beam output, calibration, adjustability and range, stability. Monitor characteristics include linearity and N effect, dose rate accuracy, dose rate dependent, Consistency of output with GAN tribulation. Furthermore, flatness, symmetry are way too important uh, to monitor, and uh, maximum variation of dose in central is 80% of the field with half maximum for the open field, and symmetry maximum perfect deviation for leaf side dose and from the right side dose 80% are left of the region. Also, uh, you don't have to calculate the penumbra. 
problem is a choice because of spatial resolution, but it can also be done with high resolution chambers or a diode. Extra beam energies, specify a depth of Tmax, depth of the potassium, and depth for 10 by 10 feet. Whereas electron beam energy usually specify the depth of 80 and 50% of the dose for 10 by 10 or 15 by 15 feet, right, depending on what you are choosing for energy. Contamination of surface dose measure could be measured with film or TLD. Commissioning is a gathering and processing measure that are needed to deliver a prescribed dose with a clinical setup. Handbook table of relative measurements so that monetary unit can be calculated. Each machine energy modality is commissioned separately. Special procedures usually require additional commissioning like IMR, TV, MAT, electron arc therapy, stereo technology therapy. 3D, 3D planning system required a specific set of commissioning data to model a clinical beam. Record of machine data measure for commissioning should be properly mentioned and time of commissioning. 3D water phantom are preferable, but 2D water phantom can be used. We'll have to turn 2D water phantom during the measurement to obtain profile in each orthogonal direction. So these are uh, some uh, that that those recommendations, and usually the vendor provide the recommendation that need to be fulfilled, and one can follow that. Other measurements include um, output measurement at reference depth, output measurement with beam modifiers like wedge, block vectors, MLCs, cross beam profile measurements for isodose charts, and needed for TPS. Quality assurance, in general, quality assurance involves three steps, the measurement of performance, the comparison of performance with a given standard, the action required to maintain or regain the standard. Whereas a tolerance are specified in two ways, tabulated values, light field and radiation field coincidence should be within two mm. Just for example, percentage change in nominal value, output should be within two percent of summation value. Beyond these, they are gonna be an action level. In addition to tolerance level, there is an action level that when exceeded, appropriate action are initiated to again regain the parameter value within the tolerance level. Some have proposed two different tolerance levels, level one or level two. When exceeded, uh, the parameter might be either remeasured with additional tests or monitored closely over a period of time, include level one. Whereas in level two, machine is taken out of service until physicists advise otherwise. The QA test procedure should be able to distinguish parameter changes smaller than tolerance and action level. For example, tests should be precise enough so that two standard deviation in the measurement is less than action level. Testing frequency should be related to possible patient consequences, likelihood of malfunction, experiences of cost benefit assessment. Daily tests relate to the most critical parameter. Patient positioning and registration of the radiation field and target volume, which include laser optical density indicator list or SSC. Dose to the patient output and safety feature. These are included in daily testing. Whereas a monthly test related to the critical parameter that should be checked regularly or tolerance that are less likely to be exceeded. For example, light radiation field coincidence, beam flatness and symmetry, PDD consistency. Whereas annual tests are usually comprehensive, which is a sub part of the uh, commissioning. So uh, in the beginning, uh, early 70s and 80s, uh, TG40 was uh, initiated by WPM. So TG40 is a comprehensive report on quality assurance in a clinic, list recommended and suggested tolerance and frequency of the test for the multitude of the clinical equipment. Cobalt 60 unit, Linux, simulated dosimetry equipment, and patient QA chart and Linux. The T table two list of check for Linux. Daily output consistency, monthly, annual, and most of the checks have tolerance of two person or two mm. So TG40 is not binding but should be guideline for QA program because it's based on vast amount of experience. Next uh, is TG53 report needed because treatment planning system become much more complex and uh, MRT, very comprehensive cover for all steps in planning process. Do not read it while operating machinery or driving a vehicle, we'll put you with please. Now 
the latest one is TG142. First to update as needed, recommendation of table, table two of the WPM TG40 reports. And second to add recommendation for asymmetric draws, multi column missions, dynamic virtual wedges. As added recommendation for not only the new ancillary devices technologies, but also for imaging devices that are part of the linear accelerator. Whereas the TG198 provide a specific procedural guideline for performing the test recommended in TG142. It provides estimate of range of time for paid personnel's qualification necessary to complete the test in TG142. It provides a sample daily, weekly, monthly, or annual quality assurance form. In summary, the recommendation of these TGs are not intended to be used as a regulation. These recommendations are guidelines for QMPs, qualified medical services to use and appropriately interrupt for their individual institution and clinical setting. Each institution may have a site-specific need and requirement which may notify the usage of these recommendations. Thank you for listening and keep listening um, or keep visiting our channel and share the videos. Thank you very much.